Welcome to A New View. We are Restored Ministries and this week we're going to be talking about making time count. How do you make time count with your loved ones? That's right. We're talking quality time, right? Quality time. One of the um, biggest areas that I get in conversations about this with people is their kids, especially teenage boys, and they don't get any time with them, let alone quality. And I yes. found that um, going to them finding out what, or just watching them enjoy whatever it is they enjoy, or listening to them talk about whatever game or, well, probably game is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. They, whatever it is, like even if I have no idea what they're talking about, it's mm -hmm. just so fun to watch them be excited about it. Yeah. And I love how you said that, you know, go seek them out, because a lot of times we'll just think, well, they're under our roof, they're fine, they're not out somewhere, everything's fine, but you can be you know, that old saying, like, you can be lonely in a house full of people. Mm -hmm, and uh, especially when your kids start to get a little age, I know for me, it's like, gosh, I did feel kind of like, you know, they're here, but, you know, we're not really connecting. What did we do when they were little? I took them fishing. I did this. We did different things, and they get bigger. They're like, come on, third wheel. Don't really want you around. <laughs> Please go away. So I have to find, you know, things that they like. And uh, one is music with my son. You know, we talked about that, and this was funny because he said, Mom, oh, what was it? He, he gave me this one thing. He was like, hey, Mom, you know them songs that are just like still like really good? I go, classic songs? Oh, like, I love it. Yeah. He said something kind of funny, and then I told him, he goes like, yeah, those songs that are like still after all these years still good. I'm like, that's classic. So we'll talk about some classic songs, and I'll yeah. hear him playing one, and I'm like, I remember that song. So it's music. And how's other ways that you think you make quality time? Uh, that's good. I I mean, my kids are, I think of, of our kids are, let's see, I should know their ages, 11 and 7. And so this just makes me think of the five love languages. I know Kim, yes. we've talked about it before. Kim's, I say you're big on that because we've talked about it. Mm -hmm. But, um, and one of those love languages is quality time. And quality time is considered to be undivided attention. Mm -hmm. And it reminds me of Hunter because Hunter is very much a, he loves to snuggle, but he really wants you to pay attention to what he's doing. He's a boy, mm -hmm. and so he's into drawing, and he's like into like adventure movies or <laughs> movies where people get eaten by sharks or oh, yeah. a storm comes. But he and I could be sitting there, and I'll like be reading or writing something or on my phone, and he'll tell me, "Mom, but you're not watching it with me," yes. you know. And it's it's kind of different quality time because it isn't really undivided because we are watching the TV, but. I just try to find a way to do the things that he that they want to do, like what you're what you're talking about. So quality time, some of the notes from the five love languages or just from online, it talks about being undivided attention. And um, your goal with quality time is to strengthen your relationship, whether it's um, a parent child or a friend to friend or you and your loved one, your spouse. Um, it is, uh, what did they say? It's a powerful communicator of love. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we forget that, right. that we don't see that our kids or our partner may, may feel unloved. They may, need it, may not even know how to put that into words, but when we're not spending quality time with them, mm -hmm. They might feel um, unloved by that. So and multitasking. I'm a big multitasker. Oh, yes, so I can yeah, multitask I all different things. <laughs> and then I'm doing that. And then my husband's like, really? And I'm like, well, I, I'm listening to you. I'm doing the things like that. But I, I think when you're telling me this, it's remember when your kids were little and they would come up to you and they want they would grab your face and they want just look right at mm -hmm. me and not get yeah. your focus off yes. of me. I've got something important to tell you. Yeah. And so I've been implementing because I do a lot of work on. The, the ministry and different things on my phone, but I've also carved out time where I'm not on my phone at all. And I've been going to like dates and dinners and different things because I know that that's my husband. I need that quality to make quality time quality for him. He's got to have my undivided attention. I can't be answering my phone. I can't be working on this blog. I can't be working on yeah. this or that or answering a prayer request. I cannot do it. I have to, to do it later. Yeah, and you know what? I feel like I walked in here today and not even really realized it. I know you had to take a phone call, but after that, like it reminded me of, like as we're sitting here talking, you know how sometimes you're with your friends and you're trying to visit with them, but they're on the phone? Like we're sometimes yes, guilty yes, of that, right? Yes. Yeah. But you know what? The three of us, we don't do that a lot. 
No, we don't. Like either, I mean, we're like chatting it out or we're like working on stuff for the ministry or we're just kind of hanging out. Mm -hmm. But we have been very good about being aware about not being on our phones. I'm like, so let's just I love myself. that. No, I do. I love that. It's true. We are. Because we I have. Think yeah. We've been really good. And I think, and it's not to, to take note of your relationships and beat yourself up about them or to point out when people are doing that to you, but it's just... I think, guys, that it's so hard sometimes for us to have an awareness of how much we're on our phones. Yes. And like, and Sophia is only 11, and I swore him down I would not get her phone until way later. And I just gave her an old phone of mine, and it's not a number. It's just for her to have if she wants to do Wi-Fi, um, and she'll FaceTime some of her friends or whatever. Right. But I've already made sure like you're not taking it everywhere. You don't right. need to have the minute you wake up in the morning. Please don't think about your phone. Right. Right. But we have to be aware of that, and right. even as adults. I know some of the time I'm not aware of it. Like I'm sitting there like, doo, 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 you know, mm -hmm. so I think a big thing for quality time is just putting our phone away. Like right. you are, like you're doing with Ryan right, and I'm family. doing that here, but you know, I was real intentional with the children when, when they were younger, I mean, they couldn't have their phones after 7 PM or so. Yeah, and they had to come to my room at, you know, because if not, they'll, that's the first thing they're going to pick up in the morning. And even myself too, I have yeah. to say, I'm not picking up my phone before my quality time. I'm not, you know, going to see how many messages because, you know, especially like you're in ministry, you're, you know, you know, when you're running pages and people will message you, then it'll kind of ding your stats or whatever. Yeah. And that used to. You know, my little OCD and control freak. But that's came actually, out. no, that's like proven science that yeah. that, that noise, it bothers yeah. your, it can get your attention yeah. and your brain is like, yeah. you have to make a decision. Well, yeah. I can't I've got to turn it off. Not. Yeah. And so, so I have to turn my radar off. Yeah. yeah. You're suffering yes. with you. <laughs> so I turn it off now and I don't do it, but I always think about that. And especially now that my husband, you know, he's traveling a lot this year and he's, so he's like, really like what our time is few and far between than it yeah. used to be. And so really I'm so conscious, but it does feel a little awkward to not have your phone or, you know, like some people may not have a phone. But I want to be like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> or TV, you know, yeah. or, in, or if you're reading sometimes, you know, like you'll look up, look up and I'm just like, really, I'm wanting to read this. And then I have to remember, just fold it over. Yeah. What about you, Kim? I'm just thinking that um, quality time, I think a lot of people look at it and think it has to be quality for both of us, like especially the sitting there for a movie. Somebody's like, I want to spend time with you, let's sit down and watch a movie, and the other person gets mad because they don't feel like that's quality. Mm -hmm. And so oh, well, it's not, good. not everything is going to be, we, we came together, we converged on this uh, quality time right. moment, but that's maybe good. that's quality filling their love bucket, and maybe your quality yeah. time that's gets good. filled some other way. That's so bad. Um, okay. that, is, that is good. I'm thinking but about that. So 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 our quality time as women. Is so talk different. to me. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah talk about me. this. It's quality time. They're like, like just they do not want to talk the whole. I know my yeah. husband doesn't. Like, it's a big deal. Yeah. So yeah. He's like, do you see I'm talking to you? Like, yes, it is. Because I'm like, like, I'm like, quality time. time. What you got? Talk to me. Yeah. And then if you're, oh, that's because that's another thing. I recently, this is funny that you bring that up. We went on a date. I was so excited. We're going to be on a date. I left my phone at home. I was so excited. We get to the restaurant, but I noticed that there was a TV way over there. And usually I'm kind of like, we're not at. And I'm trying to like talk to him and catch him up on the kids and different things in life, you know. And I see him keep kind of like, isn't that? And there was, I guess, one of the famous ball games recently that was really good. And he's looking at that, and I go, "What are you looking at? And are, did you just hear me and do like that?" And then I saw the TV. I said, "Switch places." And he was like, "Oh, well, what?" I said, "No, quality time. I left my phone at home. Switch places. You're gonna not watch the ball game." And he did. He he graciously <laughs> like, "I'm so glad I left the phone at home. my iPad instead." <laughs> They're darting looking at oh, me like, don't worry, so every awesome. every fifth tidbit about the kids and the family, I'll update you on the game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But we just really hope that you've been, I guess, maybe a little bit nudged to think about, yeah. are you making your time quality time with your loved ones and your friends or people that you're around? You know, I know as growing up in a generation, I was always one that you had to look at me when you talked to me. Like my, that's how my dad and yeah. taught us, you know, look at me when you talk to me. And then I met my husband. He's kind of was painfully shy until he married me. I rubbed off on him, but he would be kind of like, he wouldn't look at you and I'd be like, that's a little shady, not making eye contact, but it's just because he was embarrassed. But now, you know, so I always say, but I teach my kids, you know, like look at a person in the eye, acknowledge that, that they're important to you. Yeah. So maybe if you've been nudged, say, how do I make quality time better? How do I make my time quality? Right. 
Like not all times quality. Like, yeah, not, not, yeah, not all times quality. But let's just hope that share your view of a new view and tell us how you're making your time count with those you love. Take care.